I'd like to speak about something very surprising uh, on foot of the the protest against the lockdown in Dublin on Saturday. That is the creeping nature of totalitarianism in Ireland. Who would believe it? Free society is based on a number of things. Well, just the makeup of Irish society. Put them down as the four four Ps: the people the press, the politicians, and the police, the guards. But no, over the last number of years, we have watched the increasing politicization of the police. Under former RUC man, Drew Horace, the, the guards have been heavily politicized. We saw that when there was public, the public support of the guards for the same-sex marriage uh, before the referendum. Also, during the summer, the guards also turned a blind eye to the BLM protest. Why? Because it was politically advantageous, uh, approved by the political class, so that was all right. But anything that politicians disapprove of, they come down right and hard. And what happened on Saturday was outrageous. Why? Because that, the violence was started by a small group of five people. I'd say it wasn't even men. Some of those group of five were boys. I would say one was about 13. He was a little kid. And yet, on, on foot of the... And, and it was criminal and dangerous behaviour by this guy, Rocket Man, with his firework, thought it was smart... It wasn't smart at all. It was criminal. It was dangerous. The guards were right to react to the person who did the firework. Not a problem that he do get criminal charges, be held down, be put up and go to court and jail. Absolutely great. Law and order is necessary. But what did the guards do? Under instructions from the superintendents who were there, they charged charged down the street, knocking over the over the head, completely innocent people who just happened to be there for a peaceful protest. The vast, vast majority of people were there to protest, to make a stand for their freedoms, freedom to work, to travel, to see their family, to worship God in peace. And none of those people who went for a peaceful protest, deserved to be charged down Grafton Street and beat over the head with batons. And from Derry, and behaviour like that you would expect from the RUC at the height of the Troubles. So I would ask the Garda sergeants, superintendents, who've been instructed by Drew Harris to go heavy on uh, political stances they don't like, to reconsider their actions. Because the politicians who are setting you like dogs to enforce these stupid laws have obviously copped on that uh, the lockdown has become very unpopular. And instead of easing the lockdown, letting people back to work, to go and see their loved ones, to travel and exercise... Uh, they are sending out the guards to do the heavy work of pretty much threatening people from having a peaceful protest on the streets of Dublin. And that is a very bad idea. Because in general, and for the right reason, people are supportive of the guards. They're dependent on the, on the guards very often for keeping law and order and to deal with knife, knife crime to deal with uh, violence of robbery and drug dealing, etc. For the lo long period of Irish history, uh, the people have been supportive of the Gardaí because the Gardaí have stayed out of politics. There hasn't been a politicised police force. Totalitarianism happens when all actors in the state especially the, like the press and the politicians, 
who are basically at the moment hegemon. There's hardly any, uh, let's say, uh, dissent uh, in the press. There's been very few hard questions to the government. And of course, we've had the longest lockdown of any country in Europe. And we also have had the, some of the worst results. In early January, Ireland, who the press tell us and the politicians tell us, has done a great job about COVID-19, had the highest hospitalizations and deaths in the in, rate in the entire world. So don't tell me they're doing a good job. They're doing a terrible job. And if you're doing a bad job, it's time when you're digging a hole for yourself, it's time to stop digging. The season of respiratory virus is coming to an end. Let people get back to work, travel and see their family, get out in the fresh air and get back to life. So I'm just saying that it's very, it would be a very bad move for the guards to become, allow themselves to become a politicized police force and to be, to become a plaything of the political class. The politicians realize that this lockdown has become very unpopular and I would suggest don't try to enforce something which is harmful. Instead, uphold the oath that you took to become a guard and uphold the rights of all citizens as outlined in the Irish Constitution. Not only the freedom to protest, also the freedom of speech, which is very important. The people can have an open and honest debate about all issues which impact on the lives of ordinary Irish people. My name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. Go to Margaret, sir.